Tonight, police are still looking for the gunman who shot a gas station worker in the Allerton section of the Bronx. The victim is fighting for his life at the hospital, and his family in Pakistan is desperate for answers. Only on two, they shared new video with Tim McNicholas of the moments leading up to the heinous crime. Doctors at Jacoby Hospital are trying to save the life of Zulfikar Ali Albi, a gas station employee shot on the job a few days ago. His family is thousands of miles away in Pakistan. They will let us know that is there any possible um, uh, damage to his brain. And his nephew, Mahmoud Sarfraz, says they are relying on a family friend in the U.S. for updates. The main problem we are getting, you know, uh, that there's no immediate family members available there in the States. We are just trying our best. We're trying to contact all the authorities. Video obtained by CBS2 from just before the shooting shows three people inside the gas station. A man approaches the closed door, appears to point at something near the pumps, and then Ali Albi opens up. One of the other employees told CBS2 off camera the gunman did not say anything before he fired, then ran away. So we thought that it was clearly something which was planned. We want to make sure that that guy doesn't go to another person, another family, and he don't do it to another guy. The family says they have no idea why someone would hurt him. Sarfraz says Ali Albi has worked at the gas station for about 12 years. He describes him as the head of their family, always helping out relatives, and now they're trying to fly his adult son to the U.S. to help him. Because it's going to take months for him to recover and be able to fly. And we don't have any immediate family member there in the States. And shootings in this area are up. This is the 25th shooting so far this year here in the 49th police precinct compared to 15 this time last year. It's a sad thing. A problem that frustrates Hamad Singleton and the Bronx anti-violence group SOS, or Save Our Streets. There's a lot of normalizing going on in our community. They wake up, they hear the gunshots, but the kids think that's normal. The elderly afraid to go to the store, they think that's normal. Ali Albi is still unconscious, and his family says doctors have completed at least one surgery. Honestly, we are still in the shock because, you know, he was head of our family. The family considers it a miracle that he is still alive. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News.